to the zoology class that was created with myself and other colleagues in September with a lot of kids and opportunities to um, get interested in animals and what nature has to offer. Um, we didn't have any sort of a life of like this, and I actually had to win the race too, so I wanted to make an opportunity for kids to be able to say something like that. What we usually do is take a bunch of other people and just use a ruler and measure some of the snacks to run the campaign. What is the Crested Gecko program specifically? The Gecko program was designed to allow kids to get hands on with animals. Um, it was designed to give kids an opportunity to help to handle, how to care for the tackle types of beautiful animals, and also an opportunity to get a little bit of experience with field work in terms of weighing the animals and measuring the recording and keeping track of them. Things like what I like and so forth. So the kids that are not only handling the animals, but also taking care of them and measuring them along the way. I've always had reptiles since I was a young kid myself, and I'm very experienced with handling and keeping them. So I chose the crested gecko because they're reptiles and because they don't require a lot of heat, so I don't have to have heat in my house. And then food is just basically a fruit mixture, so I don't have to go up to the dogs and insects and so forth. So it's just a uh, mission of some sturdy So that's what we're going to do to do this. And then the arboreal, the arboreal, the arboreal, the arboreal, and then the tree has five tails and stuff. So we're going to do that on the bottom of the How long has this program been running? About three, three years total. Um, we first started with only three breeding adults, and now we're up to roughly 40. Lizards. Um, this the name is each character kind of has ownership of one particular lizard or two particular lizards. And kind of, kind of like a circle for throughout the year. Um, the program continually grows, and in the future we have some more plans for it. What resources are necessary to run the program? Um, how has it been paid for? We need cages and such shit which they live on. We need to pay for food. Basically, there's not a lot of resources necessary, and that's probably why I chose the best to get there. Um, in terms of money and so forth, uh, the Foundation for Women Education has been helpful in giving us grants for the second year in a row, which has enabled us to do some other things, and of course, um, some money's come out of pocket, but when you see a program thrive, you want to support it, so a lot of us teachers do this. Do you think the kids enjoy it? On the whole, I think the kids enjoy the program, and they, they enjoy handling the animals. Um, any opportunity to get away from not listening to me lecture as well is probably beneficial. Um, but the kids seem to enjoy it. I also offer the kids a chance to bring them home at a little occasion, so um, they can bring a permission slip, and they would go home and come over with us. And for this year, the Thanksgiving coming up, we've had this way every day uh, be taken by one particular student or another, so they seem to enjoy it. How often are the students in contact with the other? There are currently three zoology classes this year, so each, each class we can go through uh, probably things once a week. For some classes, it might be once every two weeks. We have an opportunity to raise about a 45 minute profit time. By the markings, if you know. Each lizard has like a little different pattern on them. So this one has like almost like a flame on its, ba on its back. Like, and it's kind of comparable to lines that its parent has on the tail. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what they're feeding. Are they flying? They could be. It could be kids. Different genetics to it. Some of the tail falls off. It's just like, ew, what is that? I like it. Well then, yeah, that like looks worse than anything when people cover their faces. So if you don't want to be in it, if you could move out of the way. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm like focused on the lizard, not on you. If you're in the background with your head covered, it looks, it ruins the shot. So. Can you help? What do you need? It like won't be a while.
Thank you, Mr. Mario. 